and this is Hina Beg and I'm a solution therapist. Today I will be speaking about the topic, the problem. As I have shared in the reminders that this topic was given to me by my mother-in-law, please do pray for her and that is very important, that means a lot to me. So here it is, the topic, problem. Now this is divided into three parts. Today I'll just speak about what is a perception or meaning of this specific word, how we see it in the light of positive and or negative. Tomorrow I'll be speaking about the reasons and the symptoms that this word can create in our life and whether or not we are in that loop. You know, we need to identify if it's there in our personality. And then the third day I'll be talking about the solutions or will give you some takeaways. So moving ahead, Imagine that life is like you are walking on a field and uh, there are roses. Along with the roses, there are thorns. So life is not only about, you know, being in that area wherein everything will be smooth and sailing. It definitely is going to be encountered by thorns. That is very similar to any situation when you feel in life that uh, okay this is the issue that is disturbing you because anything that brings discomfort in your own comfort zone is something to think about is concerning and therefore it needs some due attention like when you get pricked by a thorn you will not leave it like that you will definitely do something about it before it becomes more painful so any incident or any um, let's say episode in your life that is painful, it needs its due uh, attention and the respect of your own time. So consider always the roses, the thorns and your own life whenever you are encountering any situation. Moving ahead, what is the perception or what does this word actually mean? So everyone is like, you know, they have their own definition. Okay, this is the problem that they are facing in life. So it's very difficult to encapsulate everything in, that, in this short span of time. But I'll do my best. So um, you can think as this word problem to be related to anything in your life. It's like, you know, you're playing with fire. Any small thing can be, you know, uh, multiply in such speed that it can be out of your own hands. So you can then say that, okay, this is like a problem problem to me and it's very difficult. Questions may arise in your own mind that why me? I have not, <clears throat> sorry, I have not done anything. Why should I suffer? This was not my cup of tea. Like you are not involved in a particular thing because there are people who you are interacting with so it can be anything, it can be people that you interact with and they are considered to be a problem. It's not only about the people and their nature, their behavior, what they say, how they say, what is their tone, their voice. So all that can then be, you know, categorized into the people aspect. The next could be the behavior aspect or the issues that you are facing in life. Now, those issues can be a variety. Some people may have relationship issue. Some people may have a health issue, like simple as, you know, a neck pain. That's a problem because you're not able to focus. Not able to focus further leads to, again, you have a pileup of work to do. You lose interest. You then start doubting your own self. So all that happens in a chain. Thank you, sir. Um, Professor Prashant Singhal, thank you for your kind words and thank you for joining whoever has joined right now. So uh, moving ahead with the definition part, so problem can be all these parameters. It can be anything. It can be your own issues. It can be the people that you interact with. It can also be related to uh, any query, any question that needs to be addressed and answers are needed for that. So all these parameters that you are listing as problem, they are usually taken in a negative way because they cause discomfort. They are harmful. They can lead you like, you know, hurt inside. They can also be like a shocking and or a surprise to you because you least expected them to be at this juncture. They are um, 
plan spoilers let's say because you have to then adapt to uh, some different plans and they spoil your own momentum so all these parameters they become problematic in a negative way when it starts disturbing your own comfort zone so whenever you face anything in life any situation it can be a minor situation a minor problem or a major problem it can be a serious problem or just like you know off the hand you can just tackle it so any situation you face in life remember the roses and the thorn part now again it is the problem is one side of the coin what is the other side it's the solution part why do we actually need solution always it's because that we need to have a clarity about something we need to be contented about okay this happened and this is what we need to do and after doing that everything will settle down but we also have to remember that life is a momentum we always need to move forward we will face our own you know a stack of roses or thorns in life that does not mean that you need to stagnate at any point that becomes a real concerning thing we can use so many synonyms instead of the word problem because again it usually it's seen problem is always considered with a negative aspect negative attitude that is not the case there is a positive side of a problem also and that is whenever you face any problem or a situation or an issue or a condition in your life you also have the advantage of it and the advantage of it is you know the negative side yes it's going to get you know cause a lot of discomfort again those stress you getting dilapidated with the energy exhausted it's like too much of exertion mentally and emotionally at times it could be physical you know uh, exhaustion so it could be of any kind so all those then are categorized into negative hue the positive one being when you face any difficulty in life and you overcome it also because when you look back there had there must have been situations when you are interacting with people difficult people you must have crossed those moments right that's why you are in you know recalling those memories it means that you had the ability to face that situation which you otherwise would not have known unless until you face that situation so they inbuilt uh, some attributes in you which are dominant they surface when you feel that um, pressure point in your life that is why it's always you know to be remembered that stress is not always negative you have a positive healthy stress in life and stress is needed in life because it brings the best of out of you in a particular situation likewise when you are facing any situation any issue you need to be a little calm think about the field where there are roses and the thorns this is momentary you will be moving ahead in life so all you can do in simple words then is i would just recommend it's uh, like subjective who what fits with whom whenever any issue comes your way you need to see okay you associated with problem the last two word is em that is me so you are engaging in that particular situation in the current moment that also means you need you need to take some action or you need to put in some efforts to cross that situation you can't just sit back and assume that things will happen so action is needed always whenever you face any challenges in life it could be spiritual action it could be mental it could be vocal it could be emotional it could be intellectual so you need to do some action for that particular situation only you are facing and i am sure you will do the best by taking some proper you know steps or means to face that situation diet is very important do not miss that part okay the question is how to face rejection 
Again, if rejection is a problem, you need to understand why are you feeling that way? Are your abilities, you know, um, dependent on the person who is rejecting you? Those are your inbuilt qualities. So if anyone is rejecting you as a person, why it is, is that person very important? Because again, I said that when we interact with people, some people can be problematic because of their own attitude, behavior, outlook, approach, or their upbringing, whatever their thought process is, however much the exposure they have. So they are responsible for their own conduct. You are responsible for your own con conduct, right? You know, you cannot be uh, fitting into one situation and then losing out on another situation. It's like who you are, be respectful for your own self, live a very, you know, smart life, be very classy with your own way, and then just move ahead. The only thing is you should not stop when something happens in your life because stagnation always will lead to overthinking, which is not good. Overthinking again will then go into the loop. I will not tell you the uh, reasons today. I'll tell you the reasons tomorrow that these could be the reasons or you may in that, you know, falling yourself into the personality of that loop wherein you consider each situation as a problem. Well, some problems are also like opportunities if you know how to identify them because it's important. Again, the other side of the coin, when I said the problem, the solutions, we are seeking solutions so that we can face a particular situation, right? Now here it is like very common example I've also given behind, like in my previous uh, session when I was talking about a particular topic that whenever you're doing maths, maths is full of problems. It has all the solutions, right? So when you're looking only at the solutions, will you be able to identify what problem it is indicating? I guess no, absolutely not. By looking at the solutions, you will not know what the problem is. And even if you know the chapter for what you are looking for, the answers part, then also you will not be able to actually pinpoint which answer is for which particular problem. Likewise, when you hear somebody, you know, you do this. Fair enough, that is an option for you. That is like, you know, a bucket of solution that you are forming. So you fit into that, but will it fit your own problem? It may and it may not. If you try the solutions that is given to you and just assume that, yes, I tried it, but it's not working for me. So you give up easily. That is not how it should be taken up. Whenever you hear the solutions from anyone, you Im implement it in your own ways, looking at your own condition. If it does not work, do modulate it. You know, do the brainstorming part. What is actually your situation? What are the conditions that you are facing? Because not all conditions are same. Even the person like as simple as colleagues in the office, it's only called colleagues, but every colleague has their own personality, right? So you need to identify what you are dealing with. Once you identify that part, your coping skills will automatically get richer. So keep that in mind. Again, problem is not a negative term. It also has a positive side. It gives you an opportunity to explore your own caliber, to explore what you are actually made up of. Maybe some gritty, you're made up of that small, you know, strong grit part, wherein you can take good decisions, very tough decisions sometimes, which eventually will be beneficial for you. So take care of yourself. Think about it. Think about what are the problems that you are facing in life. Note it down. Let's see how the solutions that I give or I just speak about what could be the reasons that fits your own situation. Till then, take care and be safe. Do message if at all you have any problem. I'll keep it in mind and then give you a little word from my own end. Take care and be safe. Bye.